Facebook post this week helped researchers discover an invasive worm isn't just present in North Texas. In fact, it's widespread. Now, Andrea Lucia says that they want to make sure that all of you out there know what to do when you see this thing. Over the past decade, there have been about 20 reports of hammerhead flatworms spotted in North Texas. In the last week, that number spiked considerably. After the post that shared last week, I'm 100% certain they are well established in the North Texas area. Ashley Morgan Olvera with the Texas Invasive Species Institute credits this Facebook post shared more than 70,000 times for prompting people to report sightings. Lots of sightings. Easily 300 reports since that post, and, and they're still coming in. She's not really sure what prompted the post, but suddenly people began sharing they too were seeing this foot long worm with a flat half moon head. Their main diet is earthworms, so that's why they're a really big threat. If you remove earthworms from the environment, our plants can't break down the soil. The worms excrete a chemical as a defense mechanism that can irritate your skin if you touch it with your bare hands. It's bad for your pets, too. We don't want you to pick them up because they can cause skin irritation, but we really don't want your animals to eat them because they will, they'll make the animal throw it back up and then it could leave the animal feeling sick afterwards. Morgan Olvera says if you see one of these worms in your garden, you can use a stick to pick it up and put it into a plastic bag filled with salt. Seal it up really well, then toss it in the trash. Just as important is what not to do when you see a hammerhead flatworm. Don't, don't cut it up. Um, that they will regrow. So if I cut it into three pieces, I'll have, th I'll then have three worms? Is yes. That yeah, you, you are helping make three worms. And we definitely don't want more of these guys. We'll say, I cut the head off and I'll write back, thank you, but please go find the rest of the animal because that headless segment is going to grow a new head. <laughs> In Dallas. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Scott